Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It is your favorite TV here back with another video. A video in 2020, bitch. We are starting the year off right. I'm super excited because today's video is my hits and my misses of 2019, girl. This year was full of bad products and good products. Like I said, I have no issues calling out bad products. Like, I don't care if a brand wants to drop me, baby. Deuces because there's millions of other beauty brands out there. But before we get into today's video, I do have a little quick thank you to say to you guys. About a week ago, I uploaded a story, well, stories, a lot of stories on my Instagram talking about my struggle with my eating disorder. And it was something I had to really, really encourage myself to do. And that was because I guess you could say, I don't want to say relapse girl, but I started starving myself again and I started throwing out my food again and that was really disappointing for me because I have worked so hard to overcome this and I like to call it my demon and it's just taken so much for me to fight it off for so long. But the amount of people that reached out to me, influencers, celebrities, and most importantly you guys changed my life. It really did. It made me feel so strong and just reminded me that I have this mountain of support that I'm sitting on. And I want to say that since those stories, I have been fine. I've been eating my three meals a day. And those stories, I am so happy to have uploaded them because the response I got was just insane. And the amount of people that were there to support me, the amount of people that could just relate to me, and a lot of people that have stories just like me was so inspiring to me that I just sobbed for days. And I'm really excited to be back on YouTube because, girl, 2019 was crazy. We gained almost 150,000 subscribers, girl. What the f***? <laughs> that is insane. I'm gagged. <sighs> I love you guys so much. Never let anyone dull your sparkle. And 2020 is going to be our f***ing <laughs> year. So without further ado, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a big old thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and let's get started. <laughs> I'm gonna start with a good product. One of my favorite products I have to give the biggest shout out to is this Fourth Ray Rainfall. This product, you guys, oh my, I've been at least through 20 of these. I use it like it's water just because this is like $10, $12, and it has changed my skin. Like, this product is amazing. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing product. If you have oily skin, I would recommend this as your moisturizer. It's gonna go so deep and just nourish your skin, make your skin feel so good. And if you have dry skin, this is gonna be a perfect pre-moisturizer. I know you girls love to double up your moisturizer. This is gonna take away that heaviness and just make your skin look amazing. It's gonna help you with your acne. It's gonna help with everything, girl. This has changed my life, and I had to give it a big shout out. Moving on to another hit because, girl, this product was so good. This is the Doll Beauty Doll Light Highlighter in the shade Like a Diamond. It is incredible. I am wearing it right now. It's just blinding and it's so beautiful. I have just a small amount on. I was like, let me go with a, you know, not too intense highlighter, and this is what it came out to be. So, it's good. It's an amazing product. They're from the UK. I love their owners. I think the brand is just amazing and so cute and they just have great products. Now let's hit it up with a miss. Okay, what, what miss do we have laying in front of me? Let's see, I got a lot. This one. This Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Glow. Girl, I wouldn't put this on my worst enemies. That's all I'm gonna say. It's just a very loose highlighter, but what I wish it was was the Jaclyn Hill Dumi Luminous Powder. This is basically what this was trying to be, but unfortunately, she didn't make the cut. She didn't get the job. Miss Jaclyn killed it though. I live for this. It's supposed to be a powder that you can kind of glaze over the skin to give you a nice glowy look. I'm actually not wearing it right now, but it's bomb. <laughs> this one is so good. I love it. I love it. I love it. But this one, it just didn't make the cut for me. I don't like it. It just, it just emphasized everything girl okay let's go on with another hit <laughs> i am obsessed with the jordana tisha powder blushers in the shade fruit punch you guys this is a blusher meaning highlighter x blush it's not very pigmented i know it looks super neon super orange but it gives the face just a nice luminous glow and you can see it just gives it a nice glow like it just gives you golden hour and i just love it so so much it's so bomb i highly highly recommend it now let's go into another miss girl this miss had to have been one of the worst palettes i've ever used in my life i don't have it because I wouldn't even donate it. Like, it was that bad. It was the Sylvia Ghani X BH Palette, girl. Oh, baby. That palette made me question on my channel, on my life, if I should delete it. 
if I should, you know, go to makeup school because I thought I forgot how to do eyeshadow. It was that bad. <laughs> Moving on, do a hit. I think this might have been the best Morphe launch of the year, and that is the contour sticks. You guys, these have changed my makeup game. I truly, truly, truly love these. They're so inexpensive, especially if you use code DIVA at checkout. <gasps> But they're amazing, absolutely stunning. This is my second one, my first one. Girl, she is used and abused. This is my first one, girl. I can't find the cap. I love the shade Effect 13, but recently I've been using Effect 11. Ooh, ooh, load. They are so good. You can use a beauty blender. I love to use it with the Morphe M708. I just cleaned my brushes, you guys. I wish you guys could all see them here. I'll show you. Oh, girl, they're all clean. Shout out to my friend Gage for helping me. <laughs> Next is one of my favorite, favorite mascaras, and this is the BFF Mascara from ColourPop. You guys, this mascara is so good. I do hear mixed reviews from friends, and a lot of people say they don't like it, but for me, something that does have long lash, that like that clumpy full lash look, this is amazing. I would say it gives you a little bit of length, but it definitely gives you a lot of volume. So this is the mascara for you if you are into volume. Okay, let's go in with another hit. That is the Artist Couture Spotlight Glitz. You guys, this is what I have on my eyes today. They just up a look. If you just have a simple palette, let's say your Morphe X Jaclyn palette, which is so good. You add this to the top of it, and girl, that palette just went from Morphe to Natasha Denona. It is sick name. The next miss is, girl. <laughs> The next miss has got to be the worst product of the year, and that is the Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face, you guys. Oh my god, I can't even tell if this is even a good setting spray or not, because the smell is rancid, girl. It smells like a grandma that was left in a coffin too long, girl. It smells rancid. It smells so powerful. That's the only thing I can say. It smells like a powerful grandma, a super grandma, and that smell lingers. Like, I've really gotten compliments on my perfume with this. On and girl, I will never use it again. I have like eight bottles of it. Huda Beauty keeps sending it to me. I'm not sure why. Girl, this has got to be the worst product I've ever used. Let me chill and slow down. Moving on to my favorite foundations of the year. I feel like you guys can already guess this. I feel like I don't even gotta tell you. I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. You guys, this foundation has changed the game in taking photos. I'm wearing it today. It is just flawless. It makes my skin look so sickening. And I feel like you can do the natural look or the extreme B look, you know? Another product that I love is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. This is a great foundation, you guys. I absolutely love it. The shade range is trash, but girl, if you find one in your shade, please pick it up and please try it because it is insane. And it also has SPF, so it's perfect for vacations or if you're just like going to a very dry place, as in like a cold weather place, this would be amazing. And if you're going to a tropical place where you don't really want as much coverage, I would definitely recommend the Pretty Fresh from ColourPop. This is an amazing tinted moisturizer. I've gotten you guys hooked on it. If you haven't tried it, please try it out if you're a natural girl. I love it. Now, I might as well just go into my favorite concealer. I am obsessed with the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer from Too Faced. This concealer is so good, you guys. So full coverage. It is what Tarte Shape Tape should have been, and that is just period. Now, let's go into my least favorite concealer of the year, and that is the Jouer High Coverage Concealer. Essential High Coverage Looking Concealer. Okay, that's a long <laughs> name. Girl, this... I know a lot of people are in love with this, and I don't know why, because this will make my under eyes crease like no tomorrow. I have very little fine lines on my under eyes that you can't really tell that I have, but with this girl, oh no, there's no saving it. Like, it's awful. I don't like this. I know a lot of people love it. They must have perfect under eyes. If you have perfect under eyes, you might love this. It is very full coverage. It is nice, but girl, it creases boots. It creases like no tomorrow. I think I can confidently say that ColourPop killed it this year with eyeshadow palettes. Oh my gosh, I have not been disappointed with one eyeshadow palette from them. They just have everything. They're so cheap. Like this huge palette, you guys. If you're a makeup artist or just an everyday girl, like this is like your dream. Like this has everything in it. They just have the whole color scheme, the whole fruit scheme, all the collections, girl. They are just sickening and ColourPop is that big. Ooh. I can't emphasize that enough that they're that big. Ooh. Speaking of ColourPop, because this is what made me think of their palettes, this coconut bronzer, I don't know what shade it is. I think they came out with two. This is the lighter one. This is an amazing nose snatcher and bronzer if you're super pale. I love it. I'm not wearing it today. I keep thinking I'm wearing this stuff, but I'm not. <laughs> 
This is an amazing, amazing bronzer, and I know they've been restocking this because everyone is obsessed. Next, another product that has changed my life is the Laura Mercier Candlelight Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder in the shade 2. You guys, this powder, oh my god. I've talked about it so many times, but this is the magic eraser for your skin. If you have stubble boys, or if you have anything, acne, dry spots, anything, this somehow makes it look smoother. I swear to God, this is an amazing, amazing product, and I will never do my makeup without it. I will say, I do have more hits than I do misses. I have some more misses coming up, but this is a big hit for me. I thought the Conspiracy Palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics was such a huge hit. I love the colors in this palette. I feel like they don't really go very, very, very well with each other. I wish there was a few more transitional shades for some of the shades like this one. I get they could have that one or this. Like, what would you use as a transition for that? But I will say this is the most unique palette I've ever seen. It has some shades that I've never seen before, like Illuminati, Sleep Paralysis. Not a fact. Like, there's so many shades. This one, Conspiracy. What's the tea? I've never seen these shades before. And I think shades... Shane and Jeffrey killed it. The formulas and saying the packaging is insane. And also, Shane has just been the nicest person ever to me, and I'm just so proud and happy for him. Like, this is such a huge accomplishment, and I'm proud. Next, let's go on to my favorite powder of the year, you guys. This powder, this is not my shade, but this Too Faced Born This Way powder is so bomb, you guys. It has great coverage, and it's so cute. Two little Born This Way stamped in there. Like, this powder is so good, you guys. It's amazing, and I feel like if you are a powder foundation type of girl, you might like this, but I don't know. I feel like it's not that full coverage, if you know what I'm saying. Now going on to probably my most controversial product <laughs> is the James Charles X Morphe Mini Palette. The palette is good. I just thought it was just a waste of a campaign, honestly. I just didn't understand what the point is of making a smaller one. I feel like even this still wouldn't be considered travel friendly. Like, it's still bigger than my head. Like, I just didn't get Like, honestly, when it first came out, I thought it was an April Fool's Day joke just made in November. I was, like, confused. And no shade of James or anything. I just didn't understand like who thought this was a good idea. I honestly people were just saying it was a cash grab and honestly Maybe I don't know again. The formula is not bad. I do think it's a cute palette I do like that there is a mirror, but again I just feel like it's not really still travel friendly moving on to a color palette that I am Absolutely in love with this is my best friend Jose or Levy Dunn Prince as you guys might know him He came out with this sickening palette with BH you guys this formula and this colors, hopefully like you guys can see the vibrancy of them, is insane. Like this palette is insanely good. It is so cheap. I think it's only like 15 bucks and it's so child friendly. You guys can see it's very thin, very compact, has a mirror. It's just an amazing color palette. It has some great, great, great shimmers in it. Go support my friend Jose. This palette was amazing and I'm so proud of him. Congratulations, Jose. And I know this palette is selling, baby. So make sure you cop one before they sell out. Now, moving on to my favorite lipstick of all time you guys this shade mannequin from Jeffree Star Cosmetics is not only the best formula the best packaging I love the packaging but is also the best color for everyone when I used to do prom makeup I would purchase like three of these every single time that he would have to restock them because they always sell out in the shade because this goes for every skin tone and that is a fact this is my favorite shade of lipstick Ever. And how can I forget my baby, my first ever collaboration with Buxom Cosmetics. This is the Cold World Gloss in the shade Coal. Guys, this gloss. Y'all really went off with this gloss. You guys bought this sh** and I was shook. I didn't think anyone was going to buy it. And it is just such a pretty, pretty nude. It is so beautiful. I'm so proud of it. This is my package that I'm never going to open. So... I would love to show you it, but I'm out of my other ones, and this is my last one, and I'm gonna cherish it forever, and I'm just so proud of it, you guys. And I know a lot of people have been asking me what is coming 2020, and baby, collabs, campaigns, tons of things are coming, and I'm so excited for you guys to see them. Okay, I can't find the actual product, but a miss for me for this year with the Smashbox Full Cover 24 Hour Foundation. You guys, this foundation is so, so dry. I've never had a foundation be that dry in my life. It's extremely full coverage, it is really nice, but girl, it is too dry. If you are super, super oily, you might love it, but girl, anyone else, that is trash. <sighs> love you, Smashbox, but girl, that was not a hit for me. The KKW Beauty Lip Liner and Lipsticks. 
I guess their magic tricks as well now too are incredible. They are absolutely stunning. I love the shade. I love 1.5 in 1. They are great. They are really, really great lipsticks and lip liners. We're coming close to the end. One of my favorite products also this year was ColourPop Super Shock Shadows, especially in the shade Frog. You guys look how reflective this is. Oh, damn near took my breath away. I can't even talk right now. Super Shock Shadows from... ColourPop are just out of this world. I don't need to explain it. ColourPop this year was just a hit, honestly. Now let's go into my last two products. Starting off with the Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. I love this because honestly, I don't feel like eye creams really work, but I want an eye cream that is very hydrating, and I feel like the Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream is hydrating. I just feel like it's so hydrating, it's so good, it makes my makeup look so good underneath my eyes, make my eyes look more smooth and just more nice. It's just a great, great product and I love their skincare. I love their Sea Rush gel cream. I would have put it in this video, but I'm not trying to go down the stairs to go grab it. I love their Truth Serum. I love their toner, the blue one that everyone raves about. Ola Hendrickson is bomb, you guys. My last and final product, girl, this product, oh my gosh, she's empty and there's also a hair in there, ew. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Oh my god, this cream, you guys, is insanely amazing. I am obsessed with it. It's just that bitch, honestly. Not even play around. Okay, everyone, so that concludes my 2019 hits and misses. I don't usually do videos like this. I don't really like to put negative things on my channel. But, girl, it's makeup. Who cares? Honestly, period. Everyone always talks about that, not wanting to be negative. Girl, who cares? It's makeup. Anyways, I love you guys so much. I can't thank you guys again for all the support I've been getting from you guys recently, and it just means so much to me. And I look like a mess, like I always do. But in 2019, my family on here has just grown tremendously, and my life really changed in 2019. It's insane. And I am just so grateful, and I am just so happy to have you guys in my life, like I was saying earlier in the intro. I'm okay, you guys. I'm doing fine, and I promise you, 2020 is going to be our year. Anyone that gets in our way is blocking our 2020 vision, and girl, we're only having perfect vision this year. I love you guys so much. Thank you, Divas, for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everyone.